Okay guys, I wanted to give you a close up of the texture of these, okay? So these are my Amazon clip-ins. Just wanted to give you kind of a view of the Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ugh, I hate when people do that. Hey guys, okay, so today we're gonna do a cute, short little video on these clip-ins I got. If you are looking for clip-ins to go with black hair, natural, looking clip-ins that will match your hair texture. I got these clip-ins off of Amazon, $60 a box. And yeah, they came super fast. I got them with Amazon Prime. And they are called, let's get into the label. There we go, um, Sassina Hair. Um, I actually found this off of YouTube as well. Um, and it's on Amazon, party people. On Amazon, I got, two boxes because I never trust myself with one box and I honestly think I could have gotten three boxes and I honestly still might get another box just because that's just how I like to do it but let me just show you the hair um, okay so <clears throat> Amazon honey Amazon okay so I'm just gonna let, show you what the clippings are giving and these are perfect clippings if you're looking for um, Clippings to batch black hair, okay? Textured hair. These are the clippings. They're really nice and thick. They, I got them in 22 inches, so they're pretty long. Because I, like, because I like options. I like my hair to be full, but natural, okay? <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, I, I won't be able to do an unboxing because from my last post, you you know, I just celebrated my birthday and my clippings were for my birthday. So honestly, once when the clippings came, I popped them in and I was out and about like celebrating my birthday. So I don't have an automatic unboxing for you guys, but I'll show you what came in the box. This is the box. Um, it came with a comb, appreciate you, um, a note pretty and it also came with a clip which is in my bathroom I don't feel like getting it but it came with a clip you know so you can style your hair so and um and then it came with about seven clips once again like I'm going to show you kind of close-ups of the hair now I'm gonna give my honest opinion I literally I love these let's just say that start with that I actually bought the wrong kind so there are two types of Sassina hair there's the silky straight which I got and then there's the natural, which is what I was supposed to get, okay? So I was supposed to get the natural one because I really wanted it to match my hair texture. I am permed, but I accidentally got the Silky Straight instead. But the Silky Straight actually is not too bad. It actually still matches pretty well. Like You really can't even see where my hair is versus the clip-in. And I do a few techniques to make sure that my hair blends. If you can see like kind of dents in it, I purposely like crimped it out um, with, with a crimper and then I brushed it out just because I wanted it to be a little thicker. I wanted it to be a little closer to my hair um, complexion. I say complexion. Closer to my hair texture, okay? So, but all in all, it, it was absolutely fine. If you watched my last video of my birthday, those were the clip-ins fresh out the box. Those were the clip-ins, and I'll put a little post here. Those were the clip-ins um, without me crimping it and trying to have it match my hair texture. So they were still pretty good. Like I'll add some pictures in here. They were they were fine out the box. So I actually did not mind the silky straight. I don't even know if I will get the the natural clip-ins because I really am feeling these. I'm really feeling these, and if you're like me, um, and you like clip-ins, you really have to uh, do your research on the clip-ins because you want something that's gonna match your hair. You want something that's gonna look a little more natural. Um, and these do. So once again, I got the silky straight, and of course my hair is not silky straight, and I never want it to be. But my hair is a bit more textured, so hair. The clip-ins will get stringy and be oily so i'm gonna show you guys a trick i do i take powder any type of powder baby powder whatever i do a few like a, a few one two pats and i rub it and i literally rub it on the top of my hair you know rub it rub it in and what it does is it kind of 
takes the moisture out the clip-ins. It takes the oil out the clip-ins. It, it just matches better. And once you rub it in, rub it in, you can even take a brush and brush it down so the white kind of goes away. Um, texture, as you can see, like, it doesn't look white because the white is kind of matching my hair color, my hair texture, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but just try that out. If you have clip-ins that are a bit silky, they may feel stringy, oily. I always keep powder on me. So even throughout the day, like if I see the top, I, you can tell my hair is here and the clippings here and it's just not blending right. I usually just um, put some powder in my hand, lay it on, whether it be even down here on the hair part. It works guys, trust me. So I just do that just to make sure we're still looking like one family, okay? Um, so yeah, I love these clip-ins. I wore them all weekend. They were so easy. They did not fall out. They do not shed. They're nice and thick. You can style them however you want to style them. Um, when I say these clip-ins right now that you're seeing have been through so much because I, I, was, I was doing too much on my birthday. My whole birthday weekend was just too much. And they stay, they stay through. I slept in them, woke up. I did a high pony, I did it straight, I did it curly, I did a side part, I did a middle part, I crimped it, I, I let it out, I sweat, sweated in it. Um, and they were all still really, really good. So, yeah, and I wanted to show you my favorite edge control that I didn't even know was my favorite, but I stole it from my mom, and it's bomb. This little, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's edge grow. Um, CBD and 24k gold and I promise y'all I put those I put this I did my edges with the this edge control y'all and my I did not have to do my edges for the for the rest of the day I even slept in it woke up and my edges were still down like I sweated in it you guys get what I'm saying I sweated in them went to sleep woke up and my edges were still down so once again i'm perm so my hair could just like behave differently but it's thick it gets it down you comb it down i promise you i can sleep in this wake up and the edges will still be there so yes i hope this was helpful i will link where i got the hair from in the in the caption comment section whatever below check it out i also have my favorite i mean since we're talking about beauty today i also have my favorite nyx lip combo i do a brown liner and i do a praline butter gloss from nyx it's my favorite so hope this was helpful you guys stay tuned for a fun video i'm going to do on my channel that i'm excited for where i'm going to break down my birthday looks okay love ya Gotta leave ya. Bye.